Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to my Monday Coffee Talk. So it's Monday again. And as always, I'm really excited that it's Monday. Um, so today in this episode, I wanted to talk about um, how to find your voice and own it. I think it's really important in the world that we each find our own voice and own it. Um, for me, you know, some of you may have read my read my um, story on my website, and and you have, you probably know that you know growing up, I had a lot of um, experience in terms of being judged, and and I went through that phases of of you know discovering myself. And during that process, I have discovered my own voice and. I thought, you know, this would be a very interesting topic to share with you um, because I think what blends in um, will get forgotten, but what stands out will get remembered. And whatever walks of life, you know, whatever that you're doing, maybe you're, uh, you have your own business or you have your own company or you're working for someone, um, we're constantly in that society, in a society, and it's so large and so overcrowded um, that sometimes you need to be seen and you need to be heard. If you're, especially when you're doing your own business and, and you want to be successful in your life, um, it's really important in finding your own voice and own it. So, you know, it's really vital to be remembered and like I said, if you're being you know in the world and you're competing in that overcrowding online and just being seen, um, not even mention, you know, out, outside in the real world. So you want to be remembered. And and in order to be remembered, you need to have your own voice. And whatever personality that you identify yourself with, um, you know that there's something um, about your personality that makes you really unique. And that uniqueness is who you who you are and and how you define yourself to. And so it is ultimately our job to ensure that you're not hiding it away from the public. So you want to have that voice and you want to be heard and you want to make sure that you own it. But um, I think it's easy to say that you need to find your voice and you need to own it, right? But what if you have trouble finding your voice? Then what do you do? And, and you know, our voice is really something that is called out upon us in the midst of our work. And it is the underlying why of our passion. Um, and if we have trouble finding it, what are we supposed to do um, in terms of being seen and being heard and become even successful? So um, I think many of the creators of any kind, you know, they have their own voice. Um, if you look around all these successful people, you know, they all have a voice in their world. And that voice is what they use to express themselves and also to help others in changing the world. So for example, my voice is that I help people going through a major life transition to let go of judgment and reconnect them with confidence and purpose so that they can have a voice in the world. And so this is how I use my voice in helping people. So how do you use your voice? Um, so I summarize today in this episode, um, top five questions that you can really think about and kind of self-reflect. Maybe you want to take out your journal and you quickly write it down or, you know, think about them in your, in your activity today and just kind of give it a little thoughts in terms of how can you relate to it and in finding your own voice. Um, so there, here's my top five. And so my first one is what angers you? Um, so it's not so much about, you know, real rage and you're not like going around and hating people and, and you know, you, you're not a hater, <laughs> but there are certain things that we're passionate about and in the world and that may, we may, we may find injustice and that makes us angry. So what are some of the things that angers you? And number two is what makes you cry. Um, sometimes people think that, you know, have showing their emotion or, or being vulnerable in, in front of public is something that, that shows their weakness. But surprisingly, 
um, when you become vulnerable and people actually appreci appreciate that vulnerability and, and they find that, oh, you know, this person is totally down to earth. They're so easy to, to connect with. Um, so they may have different perspective of, of how you are as a person and how you show up in the world. So having crying or sadness or showing your vulnerable emotion, it, it doesn't really necessarily make you a weak person. So what makes you cry? That was number two. Uh, number three is what have you mastered? Um, so looking back and, and reflect all the challenges that you have been facing or gone through, what have you mastered up until this point? So Think about that and kind of reflect it in your journal or, you know, you can, you're welcome to leave a comment on the bottom and then share that with me. You know, I, I definitely love to uh, read and interact with you. Um, so what have you mastered? What have you learned about yourself? And number four is what gives you hope? Um, I think, you know, a lot of things that have happened in the past, but, you know, we're moving, we're constantly moving forward and we're constantly being in that change of that transition. So what gives you hope? Um, talk about what gives you hope. And lastly, number five, if you have all the money and time in the world, what would you do? Yeah. So those are the five questions that I summarized for you in terms of helping you finding your own voice. Um, hopefully, as you reflect upon these questions, you'll, you'll draw out some of the, your, your unique personality, your unique um, characteristics that you bring to the world and that you, you may not have noticed in the past. And all of a sudden, you know, as I'm asking you these questions to ask you to reflect, suddenly you found, hmm, yeah, I do have a voice in the world and uh, I am capable of changing the world and helping others. Um, so, yeah. So again, I'm Michelle, I'm a transition coach and this is my Monday coffee talk at eight o'clock Pacific Standard Time every week. And thank you for joining me. And if you like what I do, please go ahead and hit subscribe button and subscribe to me so that you don't miss any updates and also you can find me on instagram and facebook where you can follow and interact with me so i look forward to seeing you on my next episode where i will bring you a topic on how to deal with haters so until then have a great week